Hey there, world travelers. Hey there. I'm Tanya. And I'm Dave. And we are Turn It Up World. Welcome to Boston! That's right, we are in the beautiful city of Boston. I mean, I will tell you this, we are from this area, but we actually, if you guys have been following our journey thus far, we moved to Austin, Texas about a year ago. So now we still have roots here, so it's great to be back, and we figured it's a great opportunity for us to share this beautiful city of Boston with you. As a matter of fact, we're gonna start today kicking it off in that lovely town called Cambridge. Yes, yeah, so we're super excited about it. We spent a lot of time in Cambridge over the years. Oh yeah. And this is actually the first time we've filmed in I, Cambridge. I know. So this is exciting. Cambridge is an amazing spot. Obviously, have Harvard University, MIT, Harvard Square. A lot of really great and cool places to check out. We're excited to share those with you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right, and the best way to actually get there, we've found, is actually jump on the subway, or what they call here, the T. Yeah, avoid the traffic. Right, jump on the T, <laughs> and uh, for us, the red line, it runs right up and down Mass Ave, which goes like basically right through the heart of Cambridge. So yeah. jump on the red line. Uh, a ticket is $2.90, but if you have a Charlie card, you can get there, you can get it for $2.40. The so Charlie it's like this card. Guy, the Charlie card. Get this at any, uh, any uh, T station, yep. you can get that from uh, someone to help you out there. And so, anyway, you ready to get started? Oh yes, I think we have a lot to cover. I'm sure you probably hear the sounds of the train and yes. the announcements going on. And so we better get this day started. You ready to rock? I am ready. I'm ready to rock. As you can see, it is a great way to get around. And as a matter of fact, we have this cart all to ourselves. There's not a soul on this train. Well, there's two souls on this train, but that's about it. Hey, so we have two stops. We're on and we're rocking and rolling out. There's actually two stops from the AY station to Harvard Square. So I'm pretty excited about that. Aren't you guys all excited to explore? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> No. Yeah, it was fun. I love the tea. Oh my gosh, yes. so do I. So we just got off the tea. It was amazing. Only quick two stops, well three stops actually, two and then the third stop you get off. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but it's gorgeous. It's almost like a time portal. We come out of the subway and here we are now in Harvard Square, Cambridge. Exactly. Beautiful Harvard Square. And you might say, hey, where's the square? Because you know what? It's actually not a square at all. Harvard Square is an intersection of Massachusetts Avenue where's and John F. Kennedy Street. <laughs> but there it is right behind us. It's a uh, really cool spot. A lot of cool shops. Now it has changed quite a bit over the years. It has, it really is so beautiful though. I mean, when you come out here, Boston in general has so much rich history. And you come out, you can just see from some of the buildings, the architecture, the old brick buildings, that classic feel, but it also is very modern. No, it's true. And a lot of national chains have moved in, right? And so where there were independent kind of mom and pop shops, there's national chains, so a little different feel. Yeah. But we're excited to check it out and also like talk about the differences as well. Yeah, so. there's so much to see down here. Wow, this is something that changed I'm talking about. I used to love coming here, the out-of-town news shop. You had the international newspapers and magazines come down and really explore the world. And now it's a community space. I think the internet put it out of business, so. So right now I am standing in front of the Harvard Co-op, or as the folks of Cambridge like to call it, the Coop. And it's actually a bookstore here. And I do believe there's a partnership with Harvard and Barnes and Nobles. I'm not quite sure about that, so don't quote me on that one, but it's full of Harvard love, full of Harvard memorabilia, as well as a lot of books. Kind of takes you back, huh? Oh yeah, the old bridge, the second part of the Harvard Coop. Ooh, we used to come to get your comic books. <laughs> <laughs> So one of the cool things about coming down in Boston area in general is that you can basically walk to anywhere. There's so much to see. And so by the time you end up getting six miles, you wouldn't even realize you hit six miles walking here in the beautiful Boston area. Exactly. Just have good walking shoes. Yeah, good strong pair of legs, good well, maybe a lot of coffee. You'll be good to go. <laughs> So this beautiful building behind us is actually called Memorial Hall. Now it was built in 1870, what's a long time ago, but it was built to honor the sacrifices that the Harvard men made 
uh, during the Civil War. And it's right next to Harvard Yard, so you can't miss it. Absolutely, and the, one of the nice things about this building too is that architectural detail. Like if you look up at the the, the, the roof, it's almost like this slate roof. It's really gorgeous. Yeah, and, you know, multicolored slate. It actually reminds me of a town in Burgundy, France. You know, really, really pretty slates on the roof. Yeah, definitely come check this out. I mean, it's, it's right in Cambridge, just a little bit north, like Dave was saying, a spot that you definitely want to come to to check. Very picturesque, that's for sure. Yes. There's some amazing museums in Boston and Cambridge, and actually uh, one less known one is the Peabody Museum here in Harvard. And it's really cool, it actually goes through the uh, indigenous cultures of the Americas. And so for us, actually just being down in Mexico and being in Peru, you know, checking this out is really interesting. We're gonna go check it out. That's actually something from the Nazca people that built the Nazca lines down near Lima. That's gonna be really interesting. thing about the Peabody Museum is that it connects to the Harvard Museum of Natural History so we're gonna check that out too. So it has been a great morning so far here in Cambridge exploring the different parts but right now we are starving so it's time for lunch so where <laughs> yeah. are we? Yeah we're at Alive and Kicking uh, Louis Lobsters here in Cambridge and apparently they have the best lobster sandwich in Boston, so we're gonna check it out. Absolutely, don't let it fool you. It's not a lobster roll, it's a sandwich. And the nice thing is, they serve this all year round. Oh yeah. It's like the menu, so you got the lobster sandwich, the clam chowder, or even lobster bisque, bowl of steamers, mussels, and even uh, the cooked lobster. Hey, Hi, how are, how are you? you? So I'm thinking, like, I'm thinking maybe we actually get a sandwich and we split a clam chowder. What do you think? You want to get one sandwich? No, split a clam chowder. Oh, no, I two agree sandwiches with split a clam I chowder. Like no, 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 I need my own sandwich. We're, we're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Back in Boston, it having really lobster and clam know. chowder. I know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, I think the total for the lobster rolls and lobster in general, the lobster sandwich, lobster rolls, they're not cheap. I mean, this was probably about nineteen dollars yeah, per it was. plus the clam chowder, which is about six fifty, which we're sharing. So I think it's a really uh, neat concept, which roughly comes to about fifty dollars, correct? Yeah, that's right. With the yeah. root beer. With and the all, root beer so, at yeah. all. So we're excited to dive into this. Mm. And then where are we headed to next? We are headed to Central Square, also in Cambridge. Uh, we checked out Harvard Square. And yeah, Central. we have, have some, some really great too. shops over there. Yeah, Coffee we'll... shops, which we might need to get a second cup over yeah, there. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah, for sure. And definitely some thrifting because it is cold right now here in Boston. So have a little bit of gloves. Yes. Yeah, thrift shops might uh, be just the target yeah, for exactly. us. Exactly, Tanya loves thrifting. I so do. It's a great spot. I, so. I really do. Yeah. There's nothing like you know fancy about this. No. It comes out to you with a nice humble bag and there lots of goodies. It's like trick or treat. Take out ready. Trick or treat. Right. What do we got? Chips. Very nice. You can't go wrong with some uh, yeah. kettle chips. Classics. Some classics. And you can't have mine. These are, these are mine. <laughs> <laughs> I know you, oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. This is something I think you love. Oh, oyster uh, crackers. Nice. Come on, it has to go good with your clam chowder. Yeah. This is probably, I'm, I'm gonna guess this is gonna be twice as delicious than the one we had in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> So let's, I guess maybe we should, uh, should we just kind of dive, dive into, into the lobster roll or the chowder? Let's try the chowder. Okay, let's do it. Let's try the chowder. Hold on, can't start yet. No, 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 no. Oh, Hold um, on. Oyster crackers. Oh, mm. you gotta have the oyster yeah, crackers. Yeah, you gotta have the oyster crackers. Are you okay crackers. with that? I think, yeah, we should have a couple <laughs> more bags. <laughs> yeah. I don't think this is enough, all right? Ready to try this? Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's see what we got, we got. First clam chowder mm. back in Boston. Yeah. Ready? Cheers. And cheers. All right. Mmm. That's good. That was really, really good. Now, mm. what's really nice about it too is it's not super creamy. It's almost like, yeah, I think kind of reminds thick. me of like your mom is how she right. makes it, right? Yeah, my mom would make uh, chowder for us. And it was so milky and creamy. Oh, it was, it was really so good. good. Yeah, I gotta right. get that recipe right. from her for <laughs> sure. Definitely good. That was great. All done. All no, finished. Nothing no left. More. Nothing left but the. Oh, a little bit more. Wait, nothing hold left on. but the, the scraps. Yeah. But this right. is why we came. Yes. Right. The lobster sandwich. The lobster sandwich. Oh and yeah. The, and Ooh. look at that. It's got That's a lot nice. of lobster here. And I'm, I'm definitely ready for this bite. We just better I'm just ready. dive right into it. this. Oh yeah. Right? Before yeah. it runs. Oh wow. 
Mm. Wow, this is a lot of lobster in there. Mm -hmm. Really good. Sure, it's not super mayo, not a lot of mayo in there. Mm -mm. Right, just pretty light. Mm -hmm. And I like it with this bread. You know me, I'm a huge fan of like the lobster yeah, roll. Yeah, And like that, like roll. in the roll itself, it's like, it's more roll than lobster. <laughs> right. <laughs> and all mayo. This is like tons, it's like equally portioned, except you get a lot more lobster in this one. Right, yeah, it's good. Very good. Because you're definitely the lobster roll expert. Mm. So, what do you think about this place? Well, what do you think? <laughs> Wow, so that was fantastic. No, that was great. Yeah, Absolutely. the food, the service, it was definitely top notch for this little hidden gym. Yeah, and we're in the winter now, and it's like, apparently in the summer, it gets really rocking. Really rocking. I mean, this parking lot can get so packed, we heard. There's benches, we saw that for sure, that are kind of stacked right now. So definitely come check out this place. It's all year round, which makes it nice, and you can get lobster anytime. Exactly, and super fresh. Super fresh. And our little buddy right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a really cool building with artwork. It's, it's called the Coast Cafe Food from the Soul. I love it. it. Yeah, it's really cool. And it's really it's places like this, these small independent restaurants and shops yeah. that are really, really great. And Cambridge has a lot of them. They do. And Harvard Square had a ton back in the day. But a lot of those have really kind of been kind of moved up because of the high rents. And yes. Kind of, I feel like they more moved up to Central Square. Central Square. Which is where we're headed right now. Yeah, so we're hoping to see a lot of these small mom and pop shops that have relocated themselves to Central Square because they're really beautiful and dynamic and they kind of really have that, I guess, cultural feel of Cambridge. is a true hidden gem. The Great Eastern Trading Company, it's it's like vintage on steroids. It's like amazing. And one of the nice things I've noticed here, especially when you're around, you know, Cambridge area, a lot of things can be really expensive. This vintage place, the prices are really affordable. And I actually saw a leopard print shirt and uh, some really high boots. I think David would look good in it. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, there we Come go. Come on, no, get those the vintage nice boots. cowboy boots. Like, yeah. look at these. Those are some nice I mean, these, these look like they could have been worn by John Wayne. Tiny, those I are calling your name. Calling my name. Or maybe these ones. Name. No, no, no. Look at those. This is more of the city, but this says New York on it. Yeah, that's more true. New York style, kind of that jagged swagged. Yeah, you definitely need to come down here. We'll make sure we put all the information to this place in the links below. But I, I don't know. I, I, I just might leave with a jacket or two. So we are right now in one of our favorite parts of Boston, and it's Central Square. A lot of really cool sh shops here and things yes. to do. We love it. We do love it. I mean, it has everything, and there's more. Like, since we've been here, things have changed hands. There's actually more vintage shops, we noticed. There's an old record store, which we're at right now. Yeah. We may go check that out. There is just about everything here. Even vegetarian special dishes. There's a food place you like called Glover. Yeah. There's a lot yeah, down the here. the Middle East Club, a, yes. great, a great music club. Actually, you performed there. I did, as a matter yeah, of fact. Back it was in the a day. Band. Back in the day, <laughs> I performed with the cool rock band. Back in the day, that was awesome. Yes, exactly. That was awesome. And there's a dance complex here that's amazing, which I took many classes at. I actually learned all my <laughs> dance moves. No, that's not true. You all don't the dance it? moves you see in that video, he learned that from that school. We just won't say what school it is, so we don't, <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't lose business. But it is a great one, so check it out. Graffiti Alley here off Central Square. It's a really cool spot. Yeah, it really, really is. I mean, we've passed this spot probably a dozen, I don't know, many times over oh, the yeah. years. 
but it wasn't until like this, you know, past year of our kind of full-time travel, we've seen so much street art from around the world. It's like this connection now. Yeah, no, it's really cool. And you can smell the paint. Yeah, they're you painting can here all the time. You know, the street artists are here painting almost 24 seven. Yeah, so don't don't stand here for too long. You might get a little, hi. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we did ask one of the uh, taggers here, how long does one of these pieces tend to stay up on the wall? And he said, well, depends on the, the piece because sometimes you can come out here and spend all day, you come the next day and it's gone. Right, and apparently he says, if, if they don't spray over it, then that's a damn good sign. It's then a good piece of work. bad mamma yes. jamma. <laughs> So we just got like a personal invite into this really kind of just open kind of pop-up art studio that I, I hope it stays here forever. I mean, the artwork is incredible. Each piece I'm sure has something special to it, but it's absolutely amazing. So that about does it for us. We had a really great time here in Cambridge exploring and I so hope you guys enjoyed it as well. We're kind of just finishing up here in a really cute cafe that we enjoy called Cafe Nero in Cambridge. Yeah, I know, it's really great. They have some nice food, obviously amazing coffee and super, super cozy in here. Yeah, very cozy. Yeah. A lot of little nooks that you can kind of sit around yeah. the cozy gas burning fireplace. It's nice and I will say we ended up getting a couple of paintings from one of the uh, graffiti wall artists. We bumped into him and right. lo and behold, he's more than just a street artist. Yeah, he's actually really talented. I'm excited. We have two great paintings from him. So really cool. Yeah, and we'll end up showing you guys those probably. So keep a lookout on our Instagram stories for that because I'm, I'm excited to show you guys. So as always, you know, we just want to say we're looking forward to really exploring a little bit more of this great city of Boston tomorrow. Absolutely. We're heading into Boston, heading over to the Charles River Basin, and we're going to have some fun. And as always, if you haven't already, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you get a every time we post something new and exciting. Thanks so much for joining us, World Travelers, and we look forward to seeing you on the road. Hey! He's scared of the stage. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs>